when the Warriors, with it has warrior style gameplay, but featuring Fire Emblem heroes. And uh, it's a brand new story in a brand new kingdom. And we're actually going to be uh, first playing the stage that we're playing on the show floor, but we have a few new additions we're showing exclusively here on Nintendo Trias Live. And one of those is this spunky blonde here, Liana. Um, <laughs> She's she, a new hero, right? She's a brand new character added just to this game, and uh, she's the twin sister of Rowan, who uh, you can play as on the show floor. Hi, Xander. <laughs> Hello. We'll get to Xander in a bit. <laughs> we'll be spending a lot of time with Xander. <laughs> yes, but um, while we have uh, Hayashi-san here, uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how the idea came about to create a warrior-style game based around Fire Emblem. I know. あの、我々ゼルダムソーも開発してたんですけども、ゼルダムソーのハイラルオリアーズレジェンズの時にあの 3DS um, so as you may know, uh, we worked on the game Hyrule Warriors, and in Hyrule Warriors Legends we had a game system where on the touch screen you could switch characters, and we thought that this would be a really good combination with um, some of the strategic elements from Fire Emblem. Um, for example, like the weapons triangle. Um, so we heard about this project during the time that we were developing Hyrule Warriors Legends, and we thought it would be a great idea to to work on a Fire Emblem uh, themed Warriors game. Hey, thank you. And as we just saw, uh, Prince Marth showed up. Hey there. Fans may recognize him from the very first Fire Emblem game, or from Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon on the Nintendo, on the Nintendo, DS, Nintendo right? DS. And he also he shows up all around. He's he's been yeah he's a busy man. He is. <laughs> But um, we're not going to give away anything about story here, but you will see a bunch of different Fire Emblem heroes and villains showing up, and uh, you may just have to battle some of them. It'll all make sense when you play. It'll make sense when you play. Don't fret. <laughs> but uh, as you just saw, there was a stun gauge over one of those enemies, and Matthew I was actually able to whittle it all the way down, which allowed him to unleash a really epic critical hit on them, mm. which did a great amount of damage. I love all of the nods to the Fire Emblem franchise that we're seeing in here, including the critical hit that you just saw with like the facial animation going across mm -hmm. the screen. Absolutely, and uh, speaking of, we've got these little sprites on a grid-based map. That's a little bit familiar to Fire Emblem fans, and it also brings me to something else that we're showing exclusively here on Nintendo Trios Live, which is the ability to give commands. Uh, now, this is extremely useful, but you can actually select any of the units that you're in control of and send them anywhere you want. You can deploy them to an enemy base, you can send them to fight a different enemy uh, you can do whatever you want to help you maintain control of the map and this is really key and helping you win because it can as you said it can get quite chaotic mm -hmm. and as you saw Matthew just switched to Krom which is always a good decision <laughs> but um, with the touch of a button you can switch between the characters you're in control of so if you place them at different points on the map then you can just switch between them and then you're suddenly halfway across the map it's very useful Krom versus Marth seems so weird they're basically using different iterations of the same sword, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary sword facing off against itself. <laughs> and I love these special attacks here. They're really dynamic and they really uh, bring to life the characters that we know and love from the Fire Emblem franchise. And as Matthew is kind of mowing down these enemies here and trying to uh, defeat all of the enemy captains on the map. Uh, Hayashi-san, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the battle system in Fire Emblem Warriors and how it differs from other Warriors games. えっと、はい。はい。あの、今回ファイアーエンブレム無双はですね、あの、無双の気持ちいいあの、生き闘生の爽快感っていうのはもちろんなんですけども、そのファイアーエンブレムの持つシミュレーション要素っていうのをこの
being able to pair up with um, characters is something that was inspired by Awakening. Um, so we have really the strategic elements of Fire Emblem combined with the, the thrill of playing a Warriors game. Absolutely, and they're just all kinds of little touches that I think Fire Emblem fans will especially really appreciate. You mentioned the weapons triangle, and uh, anyone who's played a Fire Emblem game knows the weapons triangle quite intimately, and it's in full effect in this game. And uh, things like pairing up. If you pair up uh, two of your units, then you can do things like dual attacks or dual guards, and you can even have them uh, jump in and help each other during their special attack which isn't only helpful, it looks really cool. <laughs> I think the animations for this game are part of what I love so much about it, watching all the characters pulling off their critical attacks, like right now with Corrin. Corrin's going nuts that here. That is insane. <laughs> and it's not done yet. No, she's just getting started. Yes. <laughs> she did give it her all. Thank you, Corrin. <laughs> oh no, you made her mad. This one's really cool. We, won't give up. <laughs> we both are momentarily struck numb by the <laughs> beauty of that attack. And really, um, the characters is one of the biggest like parts that fans love about the Fire Emblem complete. series. And not only do we get to see a great variety of them in a brand new kingdom and a brand new story, but we get to play in a different type of gameplay than we usually do for a Fire Emblem Heroes. So that's really neat and also just Seeing them rendered in beautiful HD in these brand new scenarios is just really something else. And having all of these characters brought together in one game provides us with some unique opportunities as well. You get to see characters who'd never interact in any other game, like fighting side by side or against one another. Cross paths, yeah. Um, when you might nor not normally have seen Krom go uh, Falchion to Falchion with Marth, here we are. <laughs> um, speaking of, Hayashi-san, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how you achieved the task of making the more action-oriented Warriors gameplay uh, capture the feel of the Fire Emblem series, which is more strategy-oriented. あの、balance between those two kind of game styles is really important. Um, so in simulation RPG games, you would have uh, strategic elements where you could send characters to different parts of the maps. And those kind of players who are into those games really want to take their time with that. But people who like action games really want to maintain the tempo. And so we have the option of uh, setting uh, that part of the system to, to be automated so that certain characters will defend and attack on their own, so. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And thank you also for including Prince Xander, who's the crown prince of Noor and of my heart. Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't thank him yet. <laughs> what, well, he showed up to be friends, right? That's my understanding. No? Just <laughs> <laughs>取り入れた演出なんですけども、こういう演出が好きな方はこの演出見てもらえるもいいし、アクションゲームとして毎回この演出入るのはちょっとテンポかなっていう方はオプションでこれの表示をあのなくすこともできるんですね。そういう形でファ